our O Come to the Altar lesson, so let's get into this. So, of course, when we're talking about O Come to the Altar, we're going to talk about an altar and praying, talking to God. So, the altar can be anywhere. He just wants you to fall on your knees and come to Him at your time of need. So, like the song says, 
Are you hurting and broken inside, overwhelmed by the weight of your sin? Jesus is calling. Have you come to the end of yourself? Do you thirst for a drink from the well? Jesus is calling. Anytime you are hurting or suffering, Jesus is calling for you to come to him. And anytime you hurt, you suffer, anything, Jesus is calling for you to come to him because he is our ultimate peace. He is our ultimate comfort and peace. So why would we not go to him if we're hurting and suffering? So a verse to go along with that is Psalms 23, 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and staff, they comfort me. But even if we're not hurting and suffering, he is still calling out to you because he is wanting that relationship with his children. So we should want that relationship with our father. If we are happy and joyful, we should still want to go talk to our father because he's, he's our father. And we should want, it's, it's kind of like our earthly father. We're going to talk to him about, not uh, we're going to talk to him about everything. So of course, we're going to want to talk to our heavenly father about everything. So... Um, I have always said Christianity is not a religion. It's a relationship because you have a relationship with God. So when we are hurting and broken, even when we're happy and joyful, we should want to come to our father and talk to him about our feelings. Because if you think about it in a relationship like with a husband and wife, um, you should have communication and trust. So why would we not have communication and trust with our father? Because that's another relationship. It's kind of like a, a friendship also. You should have communication and trust in a friendship. So why would you not have communication and trust in uh, your relationship with your father? But with that being said, what I'm hoping you get from this is that God is calling for you to come to him and talk to him. So leave behind your regrets and mistakes. Come today. There's no reason to wait because Jesus is calling. I hope you all have a good week. Hey guys, I just wanted to begin the prayer. Bow your heads with me. Lord, we just want to thank you that, you know, we're able to just come to you, Lord. Um, make an altar anywhere that we are, Lord, and just bring our worries and, and our struggles to you. Um, and even bring our, you know, good things in our life to you, God, that you've provided to us. Um, and Lord, you help us with the bad things. Um, we just want to thank you for um, comforting us, Lord, and helping us and providing a way for us. Um, in your kingdom, Lord, and to set us apart from uh, the enemy. Um, and Lord, you know, even though we hurt, we struggle, we face the devil's tactics every day. Lord, we can make an altar to you at any time and just say, God, we need you. Or God, I don't know what to do. Please give me answers. Or if you're just praying for someone you can make an altar it doesn't matter what you make an altar for you don't have to be at a sp specific place to set an altar um, you just have to be like God I, I need you um, and he hears you and uh, I, Lord we just want to thank you for that in uh, Jesus name I pray amen hey guys thanks for watching our video we really appreciate it um, we hope you all enjoyed it and we hope you have a great week thanks God bless